And you have a second riwayah from our Sith Imam, Imam Jafar alayhi salam. We said, Mustafad amru in Muslim, Fa'idatan ba'da al Islam, Min zawjatin Muslima, Tasurruhu idha nadara ilayha, Watuti'uhu idha amaraha. وتحفزوا غيابه في نفسها وماله. إمام جعفر بن البركلا. There is no benefit after becoming Muslim than to have a Muslim wife whom when you look at her she makes you happy. And when you speak to her she understands. And if and you if happen, you happen to, travel to travel and you are not there, there she, she looks, looks after, after you and, and behind you. you. Imam, Imam is trying to say, after, after becoming a Muslim, Muslim the, the next, next one is marriage. marriage. That has the, the most, most important, important benefit, benefit for us within the religion of Islam. Islam. But today but you today find you Shabab, Shabab, people, people don't think of getting married. People are very slow when it when comes, it comes to, taking to taking marital decision. decision. People, People make, make marriage, marriage like you are buying the whole country. country. So, so marriage, marriage has become, become like something, something very, very, very expensive. expensive. What Rasulullah says, خير النكاح أيسرها. The best, best of a nikah is the most affordable nikah. Some of us are not married because I'm thinking I want to hire a big hall, which will cost 5,000 pounds, 2,000 pounds, 3,000 pounds. If I don't get that money, I will not get married. Some of us are thinking that, no, if I don't have two, three bedroom house properly, I will not get married. Where did you get that thing from? When Islam has made things very easier for us, to both of us, male and female, Imam Jafar counseled and said, I have to say in Allah, by to you, Omar, he been the car. The most dearest thing to Allah is a house where brothers, sisters, parents, they encourage their sons and daughters who have reached marital age to get married. Not like the rest of our fathers and mothers are making it very difficult for us to get married. It becomes so much difficult that, that we, we cannot, cannot get, get married. married. Because, because one, one way or the other, someone, someone is making it very, very difficult, difficult for us. And the youth, youth are dying, dying inside. inside. So, so much stress. Some, Some have a lot of depression because of because loneliness. Of loneliness. Imam Ali said, there is no better house which is so dear to Allah than a house where when they realize their daughters and sons have reached marital age, encourage them to get married. A house where people are discouraged. Not now, not now. You need to make so much wage or salary for you to get married that is totally against the teachings we have received from Ahl Bayt al-Isma wa Tahara. Rasulullah said, Man arada an yattabi a sunnati, fa min sunnati at tazweej. Whoever wants to follow my sunnah, among my sunnah is marriage. In this way, he specifically targeted marriage. There are so many sunnahs of Rasulullah, but one of the best sunnah of Rasulullah is the sunnah of marriage. But today we make it difficult for ourselves. And sometimes parents make it difficult for us to get married. Therefore, Rasulullah comes forward and said, he was sitting with his companions. Rasulullah repeated the word twice, repeated, miskin, miskin, twice. Rasulullah said, Wallah is miskin, Wallah is miskin, a man who does not have a wife. Then they ask Rasulullah, Wa in kana ganiyan, even if he's rich with wealth, Rasulullah said, yes, he's miskin, so long as he doesn't have a wife. 
The Rasulullah said, Miskina, Miskina. She is Miskina, a lady who has reached that age of marriage. I'm not talking of any boy or any girl. I'm talking of those who have reached that age of marriage. She is Miskina. She's miserable. Then they said to Rasulullah, Wa in Kana to Ghania. Even if he's rich, Rasulullah said, Wa in Kana to Ghania, Fahia Miskina. Malam Takul Ladeha, or Malam Yakul Ladeha Zawuch. So long as she does not have a husband, she's miserable. Once you reach that age, the nature comes to you and starts giving you a signal that you need nothing here, but you need a company. And that is the company that can complement you and make you grow and realize your aims and objectives in life. Hence, marriage is regarded one of the greatest form of worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rasulullah said, every attempt and endeavor that you undertake in marriage, either before the marriage to get into marriage or within the marriage, it builds a status for you in Jannah. Therefore, Therefore, one day, day Rasulullah was, was in Madinah to Munawwara. He went to one suburb of Madinah and he found a lot of youth sitting. Then he asked them, How many of you are married? You are grown up. 25, 26, 30. Then they said, None of us. The Rasulullah said, Why can't you take wives and marry? So that Allah bless you with Nasma, Taskulul Arda Bila Ilaha Illallah. So that Allah will bless you with offspring who will feel in the world with the kalima to la ilaha illallah. So therefore from this riwayat we've understood brothers and sisters how important marriage is in the eye of Ahl al-Bayt. And I example, go to our fiqh. Sometimes marriage may clash with hajj. Give an example. This is according to our fiqh. You have the money. But, but you, you have now reached, reached capability of hajj and you've not performed. And you know if I've been performed the hajj, you must perform. It becomes wajib on you. It becomes an aria. And all of a sudden also I've reached marital age. I have to get married. What do I do when both clashes? Our scholars beautifully explain. They said so long as without the marriage, you will think negative. Satanic, satanic getting, getting into haram, haram then, then use that, that money for marriage, marriage and later and on when allah blesses you you go for hajj look at how, how important, important marriage is, is. To, that to that point, point even when, when you have the money, money and, and it is homes due, due and yet, yet you are not married, married and then and you then realize that you are in need of that money our scholars said the right to hakim will share in your marriage and he will give you the permission to get married and later on you can pay the arrears even, Even sometimes, sometimes we have a teachings in Al Bayt, that when marriage, marriage and birrul walidain clash, obedience, obedience to parents is incumbent upon us within the religion of Islam and Quran and shrine it. But we have teachings when I've reached marital age and my parents said no. And I've been trying every nook and cranny, I've been talking to them. I've asked scholars, elders, honorable people, talk to them and they are not listening. Islam says, Islam says, look, when the two clash, clash in, a in a very diplomatic, diplomatic way and nicely, and nicely you, have you have to let the marriage, marriage overpower it. it. Islam, Islam is not saying be disobedient, disobedient to them, them but, but you, you have, have to get, get married. married. Because, because Rasulullah says, Man man tazawwaja tazawwaja Whoever is married, it's a known hadith to all of us, half of your faith is fulfilled. You just have to think of how you want to fulfill the rest the way you interact with your wife and the way you deal with one another as husband and wife.